fun. Hey, how's it going? It's me, Ricky from Welcome Dudes of Legend. Welcome to I swear to God. <laughs> you, you see this? You see this? This is what I got to deal with. I can't work with these. This actual fucking clown. Oh, Future J, clip that out. Uh, <laughs> no, keep that in. Future J, keep bloopers. that in. It'll, no. be, it'll be literally in the beginning before we put Tales uh, of Legends. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, beautiful. My name is Jay, and I'm from Dudes of Legends, and here with me is the rest of the people from Dudes of Legends. We have Ricky, we have 2C, face reveal, and we have Will. <laughs> yeah. Technically, that's my, me and 2C face reveal, because 2C doesn't use his camera, and I use a YouTuber model. No, I'm not a brown cat girl. You've used your camera on stream before. Yes, you have. I have I've used my camera on stream before, but like I, I switched and back and forth. And you were in the video we post. If anything, yeah. Will, Will's never shown his face. Nah, Will's never shown his face. <laughs> Hi, Will. He's a goofy goober. <laughs> so, we actually had... Yeah? <laughs> your words! <laughs> your words! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that we, we're gonna start talking about this, and like everything flooded all at once. It's gonna be. <laughs> it's either gonna be really funny, or I'm gonna get real mad. <laughs> so we bring you this story back like two years ago. Like two or nah, it was longer than that. It was uh, like I was still three. in California whenever we started. So it was like about three, close to three, close yeah. to three, because it's when you oh, first oh. arrived to Jersey. Yeah. So three years ago. <laughs> um, we were Yikes. playing, I decided to DM again after so long, and the people that I chose to DM was Ricky, 2C, and Will. This is like our first game together, technically. Yes, oh, yeah, it, it was. was. Really? It was. I was like, I got like a big, like, 40k hype, because uh -huh. uh, the stories that Ricky was telling me and the stories that Will was telling me was like, yo, this shit's super hype. So I started looking into it, I saw the armor, I was like, damn, this armor looks fucking Cool. It's popping. I didn't know it was a war game. Um, yep. I, I thought it was like a tabletop, but it wasn't. There is a tabletop version. Right there, there is a tabletop version called Rogue Trader, but it's a D6 game. Yeah, and we play 5e in this house. Um, but <laughs> For now. For now. Until I break out Shadow Run. I, I got mean, this sweet SCP module game. But shut up. Yo, but it's, it's not good. important. It's good. I don't care. <laughs> uh, so these guys I, I got the idea on like damn how am I going to get you guys together to play this game and uh, we decided to do uh, Death Watch yep. and so everybody was Death Watch uh, just because uh, I don't know the order Blood Angels Salamanders Salamander. Ultramarines and we had uh, uh, Andy. another Salamander so that was Nick was another Salamander and Andy was a White Scar and so, I gave them the first mission. Uh, go to this planet. We've had reports of um, Tyranids. So you guys won. Ooh, that was really? your first mistake. Reports of Tyranids. Uh, it was my first mistake. Because I, 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 at this point in time, I didn't know shit of 40k. He still doesn't. I still don't. I still don't. Um, but he likes to hear from time to time. I do. Like Karn the Betrayer. I, oh, that yeah. shit's amazing. Carnoso. Um, Carnoso the double crosser. <laughs> I love bootleg 40k figures. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, Me so too. good. So the encounters that I was giving you guys were pretty stacked because it was a lot of them. Yeah, we were, we had we were, we were really playing strategically. Yeah, right. it was like a swarm. By so, no means the game was easy. It was it was de definitely we kind of had to think. Yeah, because um, you guys... A lot of sniper fire, a lot of suppression. Oh, there was no sniper fire. No, there was not. No, there was suppressing fire from everyone else in 2C shooting into the wind. So, so, uh, how do I hit this gaunt? 2C had rolled amazing in their stats. Um, 2C's character had really good fucking stats around the board. Couldn't hit shit. He could not <laughs> hit shit. Roll, I don't right? know, maybe because we've learned that like tabletop simulator... Though it is a good, um... Like, board. Good board to use. Oh, the rolls are so fucking, like, skewed. 
the RNG for the dice is so against the player. <laughs> I do like the assets the tabletop has. Though. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. like those the try trophies. Yeah. Oh, oh I love God. those. I, yeah. I got like four of them. By the I use it for my game. board, but my players roll at home when and I do it. The you tried uh, star trophy was oh, like yes. this little fucked up star trophy that I downloaded, and I gave to two C. <laughs> there was an attempt. There was an attempt, and you tried your best. I have like four of them. That they're my favorite. I bet. <laughs> if I could have them in real life, I'd put them on my shelf. Yep. You guys had eventually removed the Tyranids that were there. Yeah. In that we definitely did. And, um, um, <laughs> and Yes, you did. And uh, you guys uh, met up with the rest of your platoon. And then... Um, you guys were hanging out, whatever. Uh, these two other space marines basically came up to you guys and was like, "Hey, we um, we found a th- we found a book. Uh, we don't know what the fuck this book could be from. We don't know if it's f- from the warp, but this shit looks crazy." And so you guys essentially responded, "Well, fucking lock it the fuck away and don't touch it." Like, which is the proper response? Yeah, don't fucking touch it. We're going to, I guess we have to call an Inquisitor. Because they take care of that stuff. To come and handle this shit. Yep. So then, they do, they, you guys do the procedure. and I think we defend the base once. Uh, you did defend the, the base. base one you time. Yeah. They, like, base. while the, well, we were waiting for the Inquisitor, the, more Tyranids showed up, and then we defended the base for a while with our guys. I'm surprised and, demons didn't show up, honestly. No, it was a, we kind of like kind of went into it with Death Watch, so we we're kind of saying, like, yeah, we knew it's mostly aliens. Yeah. yeah, it's mostly alien stuff. This book, not our fourth. Thing. This book's not for no. us. So that's why you guys are like, All right, nah, this is this is above our pay grade. I so, definitely don't want gray knights here. Fuck so that. a ship arrives nope. and a specific um, inquisitor shows up. His name is Romero Blue Fang, and he goes and he tells you who touched the book, and you guys respond or whatever. And then um, while handling the book, two people ended up getting corrupted mm-hmm. from it. And the guy was the guy who looked onto you uh, told you, brother, uh, I, I've seen so many things. I've seen other worlds. I've seen uh, like our reality is is like he was really giving you like a lot of meta knowledge. And we're all just like, you're crazy, bro. Yeah, to the point where you, I he, he, he told you, hey, I'm not crazy. I know what the fuck I saw. I'm as sane as I could be. You know, you basically took him out back and yeah. shot him. I, I, I gave him, him. I gave him our, our sorries. It wasn't, like, malicious. Like, oh, I don't give a fuck about this guy. It was very emotional. It was actually a pretty emotional scene for yeah, a no, fuck that. Future J, insert the clip of the Stardis punching the fucking Inquisitor and then the other guy shooting. Oh, I got you. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> insert said, that clip. I said it to you. <laughs> so... That was like, me. That was me. That was, that was the guy who punched him. <laughs> so, you guys kill him. Yeah. And then, uh, because the book was in uh, your guys' little area, and infected somebody else, it affected to C's character, which his name is Zuriel. Yep. <laughs> and as per usual, my role's trash. Yeah. <laughs> I fail all my wisdom saves. So, you get... You, you was get, it wasn't like your main stat was in intelligence? I do not remember. I think I had high wisdom, though. I think I had high dex or some shit. No, I, could, I couldn't have had high dex. I couldn't have shit. <laughs> you no, you had high decks. You just always rolled. You had like an eighteen low. in decks. Yeah, it was so. It was low. bad luck. You had godlike all around. stats. You, you just, had godlike stats. You yours just rolled a wall. You just suck. <laughs> your dumb. I know your dumb stat was strength. Yeah, I think so. And so you get infected by the book. Oh, and, yeah. and I, I guess I would want you to explain. Uh, so I get that, possessed uh, by fucking like whatever demon is in this book, and I am a I am a, a tech marine. Former Ultramarine, now Death Watch. I got the server arm and everything. So when I'm like possessed, I was like, what can I do to make this hilarious? Instead of like speaking in tongues and like being all possessed. I found I found a clip on YouTube of like old AOL dial up noises <laughs> and I just fucking played it over the mic and fucking these guys lose their mind. Yo, Jay, insert that clip. Two C, I need you to make another <laughs> <laughs> look at the ping when it was. So oh yeah, you you, you started you started the fight, uh, and everybody kind of was like trying to wrestle you down. We, we oh need, yeah, we need to stop you. Everybody's trying to jump me. Oh, because he's trying to get to the book. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm trying to like get to the book to like fuck around with or whatever. Hey, this, this fucking guy. 
Jay was like, oh, yeah, I'll play your character. And, two, and then she, I think she said something to Jay, like, yeah, I'll do it, don't worry about I it. I think it's Will and it's Andy, because, you know, Andy always gets the smoke. Fucking, they try to tackle me. No, I was there, And too. then, fucking, was, off the cuff, I'm like, I don't... I, <laughs> Jay's like, yeah, just stop him. And I'm like, okay, uh, I dropped five crack grenades. <laughs> so the, the meme was, it was myself, Andy, and Nick. Yeah, because Nick... Saw the crack grenades and, and like, jumped on them, jumped on them, and covered them with his own body. Mind you, fucking a crack grenade, I, I it's a big fucking like big explodey grenade. I think it did like a, fir- a like, fireballs worth. It was of like a, one of them is a fireball worth of damage. I dropped five of them, <laughs> and he dropped I, five level three fireballs just and on the, way, the floor. The way that I described it was because of the crack grenades blowing up. Nick's armor had like he just barely made it from dying. Yeah, like his armor. Like blew up, blew up with oh, yeah. it. Because those are like a strong ass force. So here, and it was like a, a crazy ass scene. Like um, his character just basically looming over yours with barely any armor on. Oh yeah, it, it, it was it was crazy because literally, like right before that had happened, it was. Uh, fucking Andy using a jump pack to catch up to two C's fast ass, and then I'm fucking sprinting at him, and then we go grab him. He gets, and I'm a barbarian at the time, so I grapple him. He can't beat my grapple check. My man just misty steps out of my hands oh, and yeah. through the door, I <laughs> and I gotta open the door, and then when I finally get in the room, <laughs> I, got that, I got that short range teleporter, bro. Yeah, he just whoop, it just fucking falls to the floor, and I, I have to make a deck save to get the fuck out. Barbarians, I got an advantage, so I barely make it out. And Andy fucking just been got the fuck out and left Honestly, the dog. The person that got fucked the most was Nick. Nick, Nick got and fucked the Nick, most. Nick, Nick yeah, took the, but he, Nick, he took the hit. Nick took the brunt of the impact. I passed my saving roll, so I took half. But Nick got real fucked. Oh wait. yeah, because Nick Nick decided. Nick to, almost died. Yeah, he did. He almost died. And like, it's crazy because it's like that was one of those moments where I didn't tell you to do. You just improvise that on the oh, spot. Oh, yeah. I love, I love... I should never, ever improvise things when I'm, like, playing the bad guy. <laughs> That's a, there's a whole another story. It has to do with Star Wars and a fucking Moss man named Moss. Oh, fuck you. We, we found out that giving 2C complete free reign for the shit that he does is a little bit of a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, it's a bad idea. Don't ever let me play a bad character in your game. <laughs> like, no. any kind of, like, morally ambiguous or evil character... Oh man, that's, that's, he will that's always, another story that we He will to always go well. chaotic evil. He but yeah, cloud. You, you can see the like the cartoon mustache grow on his face at and, the table. And so you you managed they managed to calm me down. Mm-hmm. And they're already thinking about like you might get killed. They're oh, yeah. off your eyes. I'd hundred percent believe it, like, oh man, I'm a whole heretic right now. Yeah, and, and you you were. Uh I think the only reason why they didn't end up killing you was because the next day um, Romero Bluefang had asked you guys to be to meet in his quarters, and you guys are like, "All right, we'll go." And so you guys went, and from there, at the point, just to give you a little context, I had not known enough about 40k, so I was really not having as much fun. And I also saw that you guys weren't having as much fun. But we were having fun. I, it was you, just that, like, you you weren't comfortable <clears throat> with the 40k whole 40k story. So yeah. Jay did hit us with the, hey, I'm gonna change it. Is that okay with you guys? This is prior, mm-hmm. like, this is like the next day, like the next not the next day, but the next session. He was like, yeah, can we change? Can I change it? And, like, do something different? And we we're all like, yeah, sure, man. We're not. We're not. And about it. I was like, all right, cool. You guys are gonna see that this is crazy. And so um, they go into the room, and they see Romero Bluefang with the book. And these guys are like, why the fuck is this book? Why right? do you have the book? Like, I thought this was supposed to be covered. What are you doing with it? And Romero Bluefang basically looked at these guys and were like, oh, um, you don't know truth. There's things way past this war. Um, I think I said like a quote of, of uh, oh, me. Warhammer. Um, you might have found something. I don't remember. No, that. no, like the the main, the book quote. Um, something, something, darkness. Oh, in the darkness of the far future, there's only war. Yeah, and you guys saw that he was getting somewhat corrupted. Like he was kind of insane himself. And so he opened up the book. And with him opening up the book, these guys got isekai into Dren. Which is Jay's <laughs> D&D world. Yeah. My which D&D. is the world we use for our book. And so you guys ended up teleporting. 
and the only ones that woke up in this new world was your three characters. Yeah. Because yep. Andy had was, wasn't able to uh, cut and play for work, obliga- work obligations. Mm. And Nick had to deal with, uh, I think he was moving at the time. Yeah. It was moving at the time. And then so he had to move and, you know, he couldn't he couldn't come back for like a while. Yeah. I bought them to Tenebris, um, which was like the the wild area of the world. It was like the jungle zone, essentially. And um, you guys, um, because you, you got, you, the players, knew that, all right, I'm putting you in an isekai world. You guys took it as, all right, I guess we shouldn't 100% be 40K. Yeah, because we would just we would just blew it up at that point. We should we should because they woke up in a barn with all of their armor off, but they were basically taken care of by um, tabaxi. Tabaxis. Uh, nice cap.